The project is a collaborative studio between experimental animation, film and video, and graphic design. And the brief was to create initially a one minute public service announcement around one of the climate issues or ocean issues that the WRI had identified through the research. And it's kind of opened up into all kinds of projects ranging from mobile applications, websites, fashion events, memes, and online campaigns. WRI has been really involved and committed to this project. They have sent scientists and researchers down to the campus to meet with our students. We've had video conference calls where they've had to organize creative directors, designers, a pretty amazing collaboration. We're really lucky to have that level of engagement on the part of WRI. I think that the most surprising thing about this project has been um, a realization on the part of both the faculty and the students of the value of art and design in allowing an audience to access these overwhelming global problems at a human scale, where the individual feels that they have some agency and some ability to affect change in a positive way. Hi, my name is Hannah Sadner and I'm an experimental animator. Hi, my name is Eleonora Stella Harianoui. I'm from Character and Animation. And I'm Jessica Payne, and I'm a graphic designer. And together, we are The Drop Project. The focus of our project is how to become an everyday activist. Over 8 million tons of plastic are dumped into our oceans every year, and studies now show that there isn't a square mile of the ocean that doesn't have plastic in it. This plastic has drastic effects on every aspect of our world. Global warming is scary and can feel as though we can't do anything. There's a growing group of teens and youth who are concerned. They're motivated to do something, but they don't know how. We want to help their voices grow and grow them the tools they need to do so. So we've looked into uh, the youth activists and we saw what these three lovely ladies have done through their actions and their voice. They've showed us how an individual voice can be so powerful and we wanted to amplify those voices. In that way, we wanted to have our audience focus on children about to have agency for their own carbon footprint. From a fifth to eighth grade or nine to 13 years old, these are youths in the process of growing up, they're gaining independence, they're making their voices heard, and we want to show them how. Bringing that all together, we created the DROP Project, which is an organization focused on turning motivation into direct change. Through connecting grass tops to grassroots, we wanted to bring tangible solutions to youth audiences to help them become everyday activists. Over the last year, we created a ton of work and we wanted to show you just exactly what we accomplished. First, we started with looking into our color scheme. We looked into movements like the Women's March and feminism, finding ways that color schemes can be approachable but still incite change and inspiration. We did mind maps, looking at the ways that we could connect our public service announcement with our app, how we could transition from introducing the activists and make sure to include their voices as a key element within the film. Using that language, we created a branding palette and this was just creating a logo, a logo mark, and an overall color palette that really represented all of those things and focused on sort of our younger audience. From there, we tried and create a character to help represent our uh, project. We created Drip Drop. As you can see, Drip Drop has a shape of a water droplet because we wanted to focus on the environment. We wanted to have a character that can represent everyone, that everyone can see themselves in this character. From there, Stella helped us create a sticker pack that could be used for our app, something we saw in continuing our project, where people could use these emojis. You could see yourself as a person doing these actions by seeing the mascot do them first, and you learn from there. We wanted to create a platform where youth audiences could actually learn and directly participate in youth activism. So we created an app that actually allows audience members to learn about different issues revolving environmental activism actually use their knowledge and create direct change. So here's an example of using a plastic bag and the effects that it can have, pledging and proving that you are switching over to a reusable bag instead. So this app includes all sorts of different 
task that challenge a, a youth audience member to actually learn about all these different situations, earn all the different prizes and awards for doing those things. And it's also about joining into this community and learning every single day about new ways to create change. From there, we wanted to make sure that the imagery in the app was shown in the imagery in the PSA. So we worked on this film together totally collaboratively, looking at ways that we could, in the start, show who the youth activists are, and then transition into introducing the app as a whole, creating a production pipeline, beginning at school, and then working at home, using our own spaces to come together and make a piece that also includes youth voices. It's the audio of them that really feels approachable. So we'd like to show you that now. Everywhere we look, kids take climate activism into their own hands by making their voices heard. Greta started a global conversation by striking for the climate. ISRA created a diverse community around environmental protests. Leah took direct action and started planting trees to cut carbon emissions in her home in Uganda. We can amplify their voices. We are stronger together than alone. Take inspiration from Greta, Isra, Leah, and Drip Drop. Bettering our climate one step at a time. Small actions we make add up to a big impact. This earth will be ours before we know it. Let's take care of it together. Become a climate activist and inspire your friends to do the same. So ultimately, we hope that we can make a difference together, whether it's one tiny drop at a time or a whole ocean together. Thank, Thank you. you.